Let's begin first at 4.30 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. Right now, a man is accused of trying to kidnap and rape a woman while she was waiting at a Phoenix bus stop. Just such a bizarre story. Police say this man, 31-year-old Antonio Bradley, grabbed the woman by the arm and admitted to police he had already set up a mattress in an alley near 13th Avenue and Taylor Street. That victim was able to fight Bradley off and get away, fortunately. Governor Doug Ducey appointed Republican Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery to the Arizona Supreme Court. Montgomery's party credits him with being strong willed during tough decisions as a county prosecutor. Critics of Montgomery, though, say he's been hostile towards the rights of the LGBT community and has frequently opposed criminal sentence reform. Right now, Chandler police have identified a vehicle they think may have been involved in a deadly hit and run. It happened last month near Ray Road in California Street. The 68 year old victim later died of her injuries and investigators say the woman was hit by a dark colored minivan similar to this one seen just prior to that crash in the North Park Plaza parking lot on North Arizona Avenue. This vehicle is missing the front driver's side and rear passenger side hubcap and it appears the side window is being held up with duct tape. If you've seen this vehicle and and know where it's at, you're asked to call Chandler police. Residents in a small Indiana community were really shaken this week after learning a missing 10 year old girl was allegedly murdered by her own stepmother. After five days of searching, the body of Skyla Carmack was discovered in a shed behind the family's home in Gas City, and police say that the child had been strangled to death then stuffed in a trash bag. Oh, she brightens up every room she comes into. Infectious smile, she's bubbly personality, she's smart, friendly, very helpful, caring, loves animals, great with other kids. She's just, she's just an amazing little girl. Pretty unbelievable. While well, the girl's stepmother, Amanda Carmack, has been charged with neglect of a dependent domestic battery and strangulation. Kroger's is joining Walmart in asking customers to no longer openly carry firearms in their stores, even in states where open carry is legal. This includes Fry's chains here in Arizona, and that decision came just hours after Walmart's announcement that the company would stop selling some firearms and ammunition as well. Kroger stopped selling guns last year.